Good morning, folks. We've got a couple on-point science updates coming out of the journals. Did a fun interview with Mike Adams, the health ranger, and the sun has fired away the last 24 hours. Just not so much at Earth. Several M flares and an X-class event this morning. Pretty much without fail, all the activity is at the southern departing limb where that last sunspot group turned out of view. All of the CMEs are heading off the southern hemisphere, with that bottom right position having the largest and most frequent activity. It's amazing to watch this titan of an active region remain utterly stymied in solar flaring. One hopes it's not just building up its power while it faces Earth these next three days, and that it continues on its amazing gentle giant march across the sun. We've got the U.S. nitrogen dioxide maps up to 2021. They're aiming to show the incredible drop as regulations hit and genuine attempts to clear this molecule obviously worked better than most others. Link in today's list to our interview with Mike Adams, the health ranger. That one's on Brighty on TV. And those who have watched it, seeming to enjoy it. We're off to the journals next, beginning with a minor solar storm that had tremendous effects back in 2015. Any veteran observers who remember or know how close we came to taking critical solar storm conditions back in the summer of 2015 probably has also heard our spiel about how that was a weak period for Earth's magnetic field. This is further implied by the unexpected effects of such a small solar wind enhancement. Jumping up in time, fascinating shift in Alaska to match one we reported in the North Atlantic several weeks ago, and including the delayed crop effects of losing polar ice, which then goes into the oceans and then the atmosphere and drives late season cold spells like have happened several times since 2017. This is the start of major Heinrich-like ice loss effects, speeding up faster and faster as we approach the end of the 6,000 year cycle. In the solar system, we've recently spent considerable amounts of time discussing the planetary changes, and Uranus as the top next priority to visit seems like a solid idea to me, that one or Saturn again. But anyway, quick update. Pre-orders of the new book, those are still set to get out here at the end of the month. If you ordered any of our other books or our hats or shirts with that pre-order, they're all going to ship out together. And if you ordered within that signed book period, please grant me the patience for me to actually go through and sign a few thousand of them. All is on schedule at the moment and the train is coming to the station in more ways than one. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the big shy sunspots. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.